Welcome, everyone. That was a very bad impression. Uh, yes, but, it was. Um, <laughs> <laughs> welcome to another Movie Monday, of which is we watched the first movie of our spooky old monster film month, which was Dracula. Um, I am happy to say that I didn't come up with a terrible idea. <laughs> I have never, I don't think any of us have ever seen any of the original monster movies. No. But it was interesting because it, it's like it didn't follow the tropes that you would have expected from like a modern film. Yeah, and I think it was mentioned this was based off the novel and I didn't read the novel, but I know that overly sarcastic productions did a very good summary of Dracula. So I was watching like the movie and I was like, oh yeah, this this does happen in the book. So it, it was pretty interesting to see it from that kind of perspective. Can I just say that Van Helsing is a boss? Yeah. <laughs> I love him. I also found it interesting, like some of the things that got lost over the decades that are associated with vampires. Cause here they mentioned that not only do they turn into bats, but also wolves, and the fact that, like... It makes Twilight really awkward, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know the wolf thing. That was interesting. I forgot yeah. about that. I don't remember and... if that was part of the novel or not. I don't remember. I don't remember either, but I'm like... And then they, like, mention how important it is to, like, know of, like, the wolf howling, and then they frequently refer to vampires as undead, and the fact that they need to sleep in their coffins, which the coffin thing, I think, is something that still perpetuates to yeah. this day. I've, like, the undead thing I've heard a, little, a bit, but yeah. Yeah. The main you thing I found interesting about the coffin thing was that you also need the soil. Mm. Yeah, I didn't know that. Lost. Yeah. It's, it also, like, compared to, like, modern film, because when you're, like, if you were to hear that there is a Dracula film coming out, like, now, it wouldn't be considered a horror movie, per se. It would probably be still considered an action movie of some sort, because either Dracula's... Actually, Dracula is probably not even going to be the villain of his own movie. <laughs> <laughs> Hot <laughs> Dracula. Yeah, because modern audiences don't really, like, it, he wouldn't be considered the villain. Well, well here, either that like, or he would, but it would be like, they definitely would change his behavior a lot. It would not be like this. Yeah. Yeah. And it's also curious because in, like, in the movie, it's like not that many people know of, like, vampires or Dracula and everything. Well, in modern day, it's like, oh my god, it's a vampire. Oh my god, your name is Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> not suspicious at all. No. Nope. Yeah. Uh, just, it, it's very interesting to watch just from that perspective and then as a movie I I feel really, really bad saying this but I found it kind of boring <laughs> like okay because here's the, here's the thing right like I, I think I know what the main issue was for me mm -hmm. And it was that I was expecting something more. And the reason why is because I'm like, okay, I know old movies, you know, black and white old movies. I know what can happen in those movies, right? But mm -hmm. the problem is that, you know, black and white movies were a thing for, like, many decades, right? Oh, and so, so think about, like the quality of a movie from, like, the 60s or something versus right. the quality yeah. of... Like, because that's, like, 30 years difference. 30. Right? Yeah. So that's, like, that's, like, comparing movies that came out now to stuff from, like, you know... The 70s, uh, I guess. Well, no, like, uh, like, late 80s or something. Mm -hmm. So just in terms of, like, visual quality and, like, amount of stuff they can, you know, the effects and stuff like that, right? Because I was thinking, like, you know, I'm not expecting the effect to be good, but, like... I, I was curious to see, like, how are they going to actually show him, like, turning into a bat? Oh, they just don't. Okay. <laughs> so, like, yeah. you know, and, like, the bat effect itself was, like, really bad. <laughs> so, you know, but, like, again, it's, like, is it, like, their fault? Not really. But at the same time, like, I don't know, I just felt kind of, like... 
And also the acting, like, I'm sure this was more of, like, a style kind of thing. And also because apparently this was even, like, early just to have, like, sound in movies. So, mm. you know, there's that. But, like, the acting felt, like, really silly a lot of the time. Um, every time, like, fucking Dracula was, like, staring at people, I kept thinking of Nicolas Cage in <laughs> <laughs> City of Angels. <laughs> so, I don't know, like, I, okay, basically, like, it was just sort of, there were moments that were unintentionally funny, and there were other moments that were just kind of, like, not super interesting, so, I don't know. I don't, like, I'm not gonna say it's, like, you know, bad or something, um, but I guess this just didn't really work for me, and, but, but I could also see that, like, that could partly be because I was expecting something a bit different. So, hmm. and there's definitely like, for example, um, again, the fact that this was made almost, you know, nine, 89 years ago, right? Oh my gosh. Um, and oh. the fact that like the you know the camera quality like of the picture doesn't look that bad, right? You know. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, it was surprisingly good. It wasn't like scratchy or anything. Right. I mean, the sound definitely could use some work, but again, it's one the of the what not... it was one of the first sound <laughs> films. So, like, you know, okay, fine, I'll give that some slack. Um, and also, like, you know, the at least the set design off off of the castle was like kind of impressive that they put that together, right? Mm. So, I don't know. I mean, I guess just it's definitely very different in terms of like the story style, right, of, like, modern films, right? Mm -hmm. So, again, we mentioned that, like, at the end, we were like, well, that was kind of a small ending, and it's like, yeah, <laughs> you know. The ending was very much of a, a whisper. Yeah. Rather yeah. than, like, a big bombastic ending that normally is something that we have nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know how much of this is just, like, you know... Basically, I don't know if it's just that I am, like conditioned to like view certain things as like good because i'm used to those things or mm. if it's so if it's kind of my issue or if it's just generally like you know the fact that things have changed and people have changed their styles and things have moved on you know since the 89 years then this was put out so yeah i don't know my, my takeaway again my personal view of this was just that it was kind of like some again technically impressive in some areas other areas it was just kind of eh so that's kind of my attitude for it but I don't know. I'm kind of curious. It seems like you you two probably were more into it than I was. So I'm kind of curious. I looked at this way more from the story perspective because I guess again I was kind of exposed to the original like summary of the novel. I guess mm. so. I had that in my mind when I was watching, and I was like, "Oh, okay, this is kind of how that played out." And um, you know, in a book, it's very different because you like construct your own like representation, or if you watch a summary of it, then you get that representation instead. <laughs> Because I think I was thinking of, like, another character that might have been in here, but I don't remember if that was in, like, one of the movie adaptations. It's, like, an American guy, but he was not in this um, film. But I thought just uh, the way that um, the story played itself out, and I forgot that Van Helsing was, like, such a fucking badass. <laughs> I just really appreciated him. Yeah, I don't think you really see Van Helsing that much in, like, the later movies. Actually, like, like until they like, said his name, I was I think like, he's too overpowered. That's the thing. Like, he knows, so yes. he's a threat. And then Dracula can't be hot anymore. <laughs> yeah. Because then you're paying more attention to Van Helsing, who is probably the most interesting character. But I don't know. I'm, I stand Van Helsing. Well, okay. it's, it's like, well, then speaking of modern stuff, it's like, well, there was that they turn him into, like, a fucking superhero. Like, for some things or whatever. So it's just, like, hmm. you know, uh, kind of missing the point. <laughs> but, yeah. I, I mean, that definitely that, like, that kind of character, where it's, like, sort of the... Because he's sort of a mix of, like, you know... It, it, speaking of old movies, because it's sort of, like, before tropes in terms of for a lot of movies, right? Mm -hmm. So, because he's kind of a mix of, like, the old man mentor, but also, like, the protagonist at the same time. Yes. Yeah. So and like, I love that so much. Yeah. So like, I, I get that again. Concept. I think that's kind of neat. I just, I guess, I didn't really get win with this character myself, but the con conceptually, like, that's kind of cool. So. I think I also appreciated like. This played out. I think the book is like this too. It played out more like a mystery, yeah. rather than an actual. Because horror movies are not really. They usually don't have too much 
in them in terms of there is a mystery in terms of like why is there a ghost here what's happening but there's usually like it's more of like jump scares and how much you can make your audience scream more so than it is like actual an actual storyline or something like that so i kind of appreciated that also in this film too because i honestly had no idea what we were going to get ourselves into. yeah mystery, yeah, like, mystery horror yeah, I was like, is this like, it, it, this can't be jump scares because I feel like that's more of like a modern day thing than yeah, anything Yeah, but they else. barely, they don't even really show any like uh, attacks really. So, yeah. which is kind of surprising so, to me. It relies yeah. a lot on just the context and the story, which I guess I appreciate because I'm not a fan of horror movies. So I was able to sit through this pretty successfully. Yeah, I mean... I'm alright with horror movies, and I also appreciated this too, and I, I can say that I can remember the story better from this movie than <laughs> Interview with a Vampire. Oh, uh, yeah. The movie that was eight million hours long? Yeah. <laughs> oh god. I'm just- now that I've seen it's like this movie compared to that movie, I'm like, I'd rather definitely be watching this movie. <laughs> It's also much shorter than in Disney with a Vampire. <laughs> but yeah, they don't really concentrate on gory details, probably also because... They, they didn't have the means to do it at the time, yeah, I assume. <laughs> I'm not actually sure if when this movie was made, they could make do sound stages, so everything might have actually been on location. Mm -hmm. So oh, that that's pretty sense. impressive, too. And that means they also had to deal with like weather... And like during like dark scenes, they had to make sure that everything was actually properly lit and stuff like that too. So, especially since it's black and white, so you can't really rely on colors to bring out certain stuff. Or mm -hmm. so they had to make sure that like you could actually see the protagonist, even though it's technically dark outside and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. I do wonder, what happened to Dracula's wives? I don't think they explained that, actually. Did they? Well, there are sequels for Dracula, wife, Wives of Dracula, so... Oh, right. oh. I, I'm going to presume that that will be explained in the later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I was like, I was thinking like when they showed them off early, I was like, oh, so there's going to be like multiple of them all doing different stuff or whatever, and it's like, oh, kind of not, <laughs> so... Oh. Yeah. I guess we'll see. Mm -hmm. Eventually. Yeah, well, at least we'll see how far we get through this. Uh, this month. Yes. Um, I am kind of thinking, like, you know, ahead to some of the stuff we're watching, and... Well, I, I guess it's not the next one, so I guess I'll, I'll not say it yet, but I'm just kind of curious how they're going to do something <laughs> uh, for one of the future films, but I'll... Say that when we get there. Future it. month. Yeah. <laughs> so. Get excited, guys. Mm -hmm. Yep. Two of um, us will suffer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, our next movie is. Well, wait. Are we going to? Are we going to rate these or no? I don't know if we can rate them. Can we? I get them. I don't know. Cause I'm like I don't even know what we would compare it against. That's fair. Okay. Just wondering. We don't, if we had Casablanca, we could, we could, I guess, rank it against Casablanca, but... Maybe what we could do is maybe at the end we could give all four of them, like, a collective number? I don't or know. Maybe, or we like, can at least, like, at the end we can compare them to each other. Yeah. Yeah, okay. we can do that. That's fair. Or we can just not give numbers, but rank which ones we like from most to least yeah, of these I mean. four. Yeah, that's what I mean. Because I feel like they're so different from everything else we've done. Yeah, because, like, again, I'm, again, part of it is, again, like, my personal feelings where I'm, like, I feel like, honestly, like, in terms of me, my personal enjoyment in, of watching the movie, I feel like I would put this actually, like, below, like, everything else I've seen. But, like, that seems super unfair. So, mm. you know, yeah. I don't know. So, okay. I guess that's fair enough, then, sort of, you as its own kind of, its own category. But I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if I my attitudes for like the, especially now that I've seen this, maybe that'll kind of change my perspective for the ones going a forward. Bench line. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a bench line. 
this is also, I think, the earliest of all yeah, four it is. things. Yeah. So things theoretically should get better in terms of like <laughs> quality. Theoretically, but you know, <laughs> yeah. who knows? Next up, we have another famous monster. Um, he's green, and he's a lean green. <laughs> Fighting machine. <laughs> he's also named incorrectly, just putting that out there. Also, the movie's in black and white, twice. so he's not even green, but. <laughs> he's a gray. Uh, gray, gray gay. Gray, yeah, gay. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a plot twist. <laughs> Especially for That's the 30s. The 30s. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How progressive of them. <laughs> Can't get past that subtext, man. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, what? Uh, what are we watching? Frankenstein. Okay. <laughs> Apostrophe S monster. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how, when, did that actually start, like, from this movie? I don't might know. It might have. But yeah, technically, his name is Frankenstein's monster. Because yeah. he doesn't have a name. Frankenstein's the do I'll, I'll go into this <laughs> in the next video. <laughs> I actually for next week. <laughs> yeah, I actually have read the book. I think we all have, right? Yes. It was for me it was quite a while ago and I don't remember a lot of the details, but I have Same. read it. I've read it twice, so okay. um, both times for school. Um so I, I think my memory pr is probably the most um uh, clear. I'm going to watch probably the OSP summary. Yes. Oh, I want to watch that, too. <laughs> well. Alright, well, so yes, next week is Frankenstein. Woo! Bye! Well, bye! bye.